everyone. My question is for Sonia. And I was wondering, you know, this is such a, I mean, it's a show about, you know, uh, inclusion, you know, you're on, on the screen, there's very much about inclusion. And as a mother, I wanted to know personally how you feel about that. Well, of course, I'm thrilled. You can't have enough inclusion. I, uh, mm -hmm. I have a uh, personal story with that. I was raised in the Bronx and I watched a lot of television as a kid at a time when there were no people of color on television at all, uh, at all. If you saw a person of color on television, you would call the neighbors. So uh, I really felt uh, uh, how I was gonna, I wondered how I was gonna contribute to a society that didn't see me, I was invisible. I mean, what job was I gonna have? <laughs> you know, I didn't see teachers or you know, bus drivers or anything. So I think if you, if you don't see it, you can't be it. And you have to, even though the characters, of course, in Casa Grande are broad, people do have little snippets. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that chancleta is or that flan. Uh, is that, you know, a Spanish food. So uh, certainly I can tell you how important it is to see yourself reflected in the media. I love that. If you can't see it, you can't be it. That's wonderful. I didn't come up with that. So uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> My question is for both of you. And um, I wanted to know how much input you have into your characters or even the script. I know Sonia had even had some writing experience when you were on Sesame Street and had written some. So I didn't, I want to know if you have any, you know, if you consult with the writers on this or even maybe plans to write some episodes in the future. Well, that's a lovely question. Thank you. And I was a writer for Sesame Street for many years, but I don't, uh, I don't plan on writing any Casa Grande scripts. And as far as input on the character, i this journey of, of animation, the, the line, the script has to be set so far ahead of time uh, with people giving their input and people changing and people changing lines so that when you get to the recording, you, it's really just you interpreting those lines. You wouldn't change any of the lines because they've, a multitude of people have gotten together to make sure that the lines are appropriate. So, uh, so that's the, that kind of input I, I don't have. Uh, probably uh, uh, the most input I have is making sure that, that I sound Mexican, uh, uh, Mexican American, that I say, I love that I, I keep getting corrected. Instead of saying flan, I'll say flang. <laughs> which is a different kind of, uh, uh, okay. and it's something that I, you know, I do unconsciously, but somebody, somebody Lalo is his name, uh, uh, Alcaraz, he's always there to make sure that I, you know, that I say it right. And it's, and I'm, and I'm, I'm pleased about it because so much, so many times we're all Latinos are put together in one group and we all sound the same and we all you know use the same words and that's that that's not true so this show is being mindful of that and there was one part in the one episode where there was a puerto rican which is what i am mm -hmm. and they went through the trouble of making him say wepa which is a puerto rican expression okay. and not a mexican Amer american expression especially you know but i mean they made a real effort Mm -hmm. to to distinguish so you know I, I guess if there's a Peruvian character they'll also do the same thing so uh, I'm glad to see those those kinds of, of moments so they don't need my input they're doing really well without it <laughs> except for my acting <laughs> yeah I mean I would echo you know I echo exactly what Sonia was saying I think uh, the one thing that I would add with is that I think in the recording sessions you know our writers and producers, I feel like are so good at they're observing us and they're 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 hearing us and they're picking up on little things that we may be doing you know in between takes you know or something that we might do with a side character that gives them an idea to you know to to add something to our main character and i think that's that's kind of how I feel like the, the 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 things that they've given Maria that kind of fill her out as a character and she's she's a little bit more zany than meets the eye. 
I kind of think that those come from the observations of the the writers and the producers as we're as we're performing our characters and they you know they're the ones that then turn it into the magic that that we get to that we get to perform thank you thank you so much <laughs>